And welcome back to The Long Run, where we are playing Lunar Silver Star Harmony. Last time we dealt with the fake Dragon Master over in Lan, as well as learned of the fact that Facia is not, uh, apparently not a head priestess at Althena Shrine, so we're not really sure what's going on with that, but Jessica is currently investigating that for us. In the meantime, we're going to go back uh, up to the um, the Magic Academy here and report back to Galleon. I have to hurry to the Magic Guild. Galleon will expect the full report. Why don't you meet me there after, after you've had a chance to look around the city? I mean, we've already pretty much looked around the city. Yep, this sure is a city that you have here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna doubt that um, they've uh, put in any new stock since the last time I checked. I don't think there are any particular story triggers. It's just uh, when you're done looking around the city. Hey, I was just looking for you guys. Lemia has said that she's ready to receive you now. All right, I can't wait to see what kind of reward she gives us, Alex. I can't believe the, that those are the first words coming out of your mouth. What's wrong with you? Before you do anything, you need to report to Master Galleon. Get moving and come with me. Didn't you hear what I said? Before you do anything, you must first report to Master Galleon. Okay, geez. Calm your hairstyle. Master Galleon is waiting for your report. Also, why aren't you giving your report? Nash has given me the brief account of the events. I would like to congratulate you on a well done, Alex. Me and Jessica helped too. <laughs> Jessica, this is the first I've heard of this name. It seems as though this was left out of the report. Do you care to expound on the matter, Nash? Well, the, you see, she wasn't of much assistance to begin with, and... I'm not entirely sure how we even ended up traveling with a priestess from Althena's shrine, either. A priestess of Althena? Jessica, I see. Well, no matter. I would like to hear- I would like to receive a full account of the details with Lenny at present. At once, Master Galleon. Please be seated in the waiting room while Lemia is preparing to meet you. All oh, right, and don't you dare bother Mia. You hear what I'm saying? All right, all right. Have a little trust every once in a while. If you'd stop pulling stunts like that, uh, that make people lose their trust, then maybe that wouldn't be an issue. Come on, Alex. Forget about what Nash said. Let's go visit Mia in her room. I really want to see her again. Like, yeah, don't don't worry. We're not going to to go visit Mia. We're not going to just go around here and up these other stairs and go into Mia's room and talk to Mia and you know try to make friends with her. That's absolutely not what. That's absolutely what we're doing. Let's not lie to any, let's not lie to anyone else. Hi, Mia. We're back. Things got pretty rough out there, but we made it back in one piece. Welcome back. I'm glad to see that you're all safe and sound. I'll go prepare some tea, so please make yourselves at home. So in the end, we found out that the so-called dragon on the islet was really just a super obese frog. <laughs> it sounds like yeah, it's quite an adventure. I'd be too scared to ever attempt visiting an island covered by, po by poisonous marsh. You all really have a lot of courage. 
I wouldn't exactly call it all courage. In Alex's case, it's more like recklessness in, the, in order to fulfill his lifelong dream. Recklessness? <laughs> That's right. Alex tends to dive headfirst into any and everything without even bothering to look around. Really? But somehow that seems so exhilarating to me. When I think about comparison, about, about how we're all nearly the same age, about how old my brother was when she assumed her position as the leader of Vane, and about when Nine set off, uh, first set off on his adventures. Uh, I feel like I haven't done anything with my life. What's wrong, Mia? Is your stomach bothering you? I've got a spell for that if you want. Thanks, Mo, but I'm alright. You've really got a good heart, don't you? Did you hear that? She said I have a good heart. Don't you people know what it means to sit and wait? Alex, Lemia is ready to receive you, so get yourselves to the Grand Hall now. Don't be angry with them, Nash. I was the one who asked them to stay. Oh, Mia, I know you're being kind, but I know these people too well. In fact, a little too well. Uh, I think using too well there twice is kind of not quite correct. Oh, right. Will you be joining them too, uh, Mia? Let me ask call for you as well. Yes, I'm coming. We mustn't keep my mother waiting. Um, so I, I'm just realizing that I kind of forgot to uh, fill up my water during break. So, uh, speaking of professionalism, I'm going to be right back in, in just a minute or two here. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> now she gave me a full report of what happened at Inra. And his great power within the boy, as much power as dying possessed in his youth. Step forth, Alex of Bard. My mother's called a meeting in the Grand Hall. I wonder what she plans to discuss. I'm sorry it's so sudden, but she seems to hold every conference like this lately. Well, let's uh, let's see what uh, what we have in store here. That's a powerful woman. Patakshi ga toshi no Remilia Osa desu. ドラゴンマスターになるためにリュウを探している少年というのはあなたですねなるほど意志の強そうな瞳だことけれどなるほど意志の強そうな瞳だことけれど<笑> I don't know if I like where this is going. You cannot deceive my eyes, boy. Your quest to seek the, uh, to seek out the Dragon Masters and become a Dragon Master is none other than a plot to overthrow the Magic Guild and oppose the Goddess Althina herself. What are you talking about? Mia, what's going on? Gods! Throw this urchin into the dungeon at once and execute him for treason in the morning. Keep the girl here for now. I have special plans for her. Mother... Alex! Stop it! Let him go! Screaming will achieve nothing. Huh? 
here in vain that the word of Lemia Elsa is not. Don't waste your breath on that little waif galleon. Take her to the appointed area. As you wish, Lemia. Luna! Alex! I feel like we keep ending up here. I... I... I don't know. Le... Lemia... Elsa... Uh, uh, uh. My voice sounds so familiar. Hey Alex, are you okay? I'm so sorry, Alex. I'll get you out of here right now. I'm gonna guess probably not. <laughs> Mia, let me hide out in her bedroom. This is such an awful place. Please forgive me, Alex. My mother used to be so warm and wonderful, but now... <laughs> Mia. Don't cry, Mia. Of course Alex forgives you. Now let's go find Luna, please. Alex, I want you to look at this. A goddess mirror. This mirror shows things as they, as they really are, Alex. It reflects only the truth. It is called the goddess mirror. I've been wondering if my mother is really the same woman she has always been. Or if something has invaded and poisoned her soul. I was too afraid to know the truth, so I couldn't use this. But I'm ready to use it now. Please take me with you, Alex. It's my duty to learn the truth about my mother. Even if I have a difficult time accepting what I find. Let's do it. Now that's the Alex I know. Let's go save Luna. But I guess we need to figure out where Lemia took her first. Do you know Mia? I'm afraid not. My mother often disappears from the guild, but I don't know where to. Ah! The Vile Tribe. What the? I saw the Vile Tribe. Over there. I saw them. I saw them. Alex's uh, voice is muffled, but it's very familiar. There's a bad smell coming out of this cell, Alex. This prisoner's been in here for quite a while. The mask she's wearing is a magical device. It's used to seal someone's memories. The guild forbade their use many years ago. Who would do something so cruel? Ah. <sighs> the vile tribe. Ah. The magic emperor. The Vile Tribe? Did they do this terrible thing to you? What exactly is the Vile Tribe? My mother told me they are a race of evil creatures. The goddess Althina banished them to the edge of our world several hundred years ago. But I've never heard of anyone called the Magic Emperor. Magic Emperor. The Star Chamber. Within its walls. My mother forbade me from entering the Star Chamber. She scolded me the last time I even mentioned it to her. There's no doubt about it, Alex. That's gotta be where they're holding Luna prisoner. Let's go! Wait, we can't leave this poor woman here alone. Let's bring her with us. The Star Chamber is on the highest floor of the Crystal Tower, and the entrance is the door to the east of the Grand Hall. Yeah, well, eat it. We're leaving anyway. Please wait, Mia. Uh, please wait, Mia. Ash, what are you doing here? Mia, please abandon your intent to enter the Star Chamber. Even you won't be exempt from the punishment to follow if you continue in this course of action. I understand the consequences, but 
As successor to the leadership of the Magic Guild, it is my duty to know what goes on within these walls. Even if that decision turns out it turns your own mother and Master Galleon against you? Please understand, Nash. If we turn a blind eye to the machinations at hand, we will trust the Magic Guild in the future. And I can't allow my mother's name to be remembered as a black spot in Vane's history either. But, but Mia! If I speak with my mother properly about the matter, I know she will listen. Because she is Lamia Alsa, one of the four legendary heroes, and I am her daughter. Mia, yeah, you've really become a strong, a strong young woman, haven't you? Strong? No, Nash. Much to my dismay, the weak Mia still very much exists inside me. But when I saw others of my, of my same age with the courage to take that initial step forward, I found it within myself to do the same. I understand. If that's what you've decided, then please allow me to join you too, Mia. It would be selfish of me to ask such a thing of you, Nash. We don't even know what will happen. Everything will be fine, Mia. As, as, me as a member of the Magic Guild, I will put my trust in what you believe is best. And for you, Mia, I... I... Huh? Did you repeat that, Nash? I mean, uh, I think Luna must be in the Star Chamber with them too. Sorry, but I can't let you hog all the glory for yourself, Alex. Come on, Mia, let's hurry. Thank you, Nash. In the name of the goddess Althena, I banished the magical seal placed upon this door. Let's hurry before someone finds out what we're up to. And yeah, I don't think we lost any of our equipment. Uh, we didn't. Oh dear. What happened? Um... Ouch! What just happened? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you, didn't I? The Crystal Tower is a holy place, blessed with, with, spe ah, with special magic by Althena herself. Only the Dragon Master himself can enter with armaments in place. We can only fight with magic? It's not going to be easy. Alex is much better with the sword than with magic, but I guess we don't have a choice. Do not use weapons inside the woman before you, before anyone says anything. That was a reference from Lava Lava. Anyway, yeah, we don't get to use weapons here. So I actually might want to save. Just for good measure, because this might get a little rough. But I'm pretty sure they uh, they scale this dungeon to be um, a little less hard. Now there's a couple of things that uh, we might want to try to find around here. The thousand silver is not necessarily one of those things. So yeah, I'm not gonna be able to so much rely on my uh, on my tactics here. I think I can still do sword dance though. I'll just kind of um, conjure a uh, sword from out of nowhere. Now let's see what you have: flame circle, freeze burst, one enemy, this enemy zone, all enemies blizzard, and one ally defense up. Oh, I think that might have been a weakness, actually. Thank you. Nom. Ah. 
Yep. So Alex is able to uh, conjure a sword out of nothing, apparently. A healing herb. See if we can get by here without running into too many fights. Because this area is going to be kind of annoying, I'm sure you can tell. Let's see how just a regular attack fares with him. Yeah, fortunately, Mia has a ton of MP. And uh, Alex has a pretty good punch to it, so it's not too bad. Try flame circle, I guess. Well, I guess I didn't need enemy zone to, to begin with. There we go. Hopefully, we can get a level up or two here as well. Just uh, get our magic back that way as well. Oh, jeez. This ain't great. I'm gonna have you defend. Uh, actually, you can probably also, like, retreat some ways. And, uh, Blizzard. Well, that wasn't so bad. Thank you. As I can probably try to uh, to melee the rest down here. These, uh, these guardians kind of remind me of um, the plasma enemies from uh, from Kirby Superstar. You know what I mean? Around. Another 1500 monies. Man, game likes uh, this arrangement. Yeah, just try to attack something, I think is the best thing to do here. I wonder actually if you were to target this guy. That's still only gonna hit five dudes. That makes sense, really. Um, I'm gonna get the guy in the back. Damn! Double critical. Oh, and that was a weakness as well. I uh, just have everyone at least try to attack. I don't know if 
Yeah, Alex was definitely in range. I don't know if the other two were, but uh, Alex was kind of the important one there. Oh, this should be pretty easy. Um, just attack one of them for I guess. You can be Riot, which should be a, a um, weakness. Uh, you can be Flames, or okay, why not? Yeah. Turns out magic is really good. Don't know if you noticed. Hmm. I kind of would like to have that chest. Well, I'm gonna get double attacked. Now let's find out what the deal is with the Shard Knight. You can punch it in the face. Use Riot, you use Flame Circle. Hey! I feel like uh, that was particularly strong. Yeah, just directly back into it. Same arrangement. Okay. Same arrangement. Same, uh... Same setup. Hopefully, same result. Actually, no. Nash gets to, to uh, act first. I do wish that the turn order was a little less luck based because, like, it's clearly. there's clearly a lot of random chance involved. Definitely wanted that Starlight, but I'm going to go over here. And uh, which... Uh... Okay. Ah! Just trying to get by this guy. Star Comet. Oh, we can actually hit all of them. It doesn't look like it's in range, but, uh, yeah, sure. We're gonna go right first. I didn't think I was in range of that guy, but apparently I was. I should get rid of those three. Actually, didn't get rid of the, um, of the crystal. I was gonna get rid of both crystals, right? Yes, it will. You're right. Uh, let's just, uh, Use tactic one here. Maybe it'll be enough. And this guy doesn't seem particularly strong anyway. And we dodged him in the first place. So. Punch it in the face and it goes down. Uh. 
All right, and that gives us access to these two chests. 500 silver and an angel ring. Let's see what that does. One time auto revive. Um, I think this actually is the kind of one time auto revive that once you die, it will actually consume the ring. So I'm going to leave that alone. I suppose it'd be a little overpowered if um, it just revived you every time. Get by this guy. I'm just gonna take the center path now. Both of these seem to lead up to... Oh, tricky tricky. The left path led to a dead end. And you don't seem to have much of a movement range limitation, do you? You're just gonna be stuck there, so I'm gonna have to deal with you. Another fight down. Another 80 experience points gained. That singing. It's Luna's voice. I knew she was here. Hurry, Alex. So beautiful. It warms my heart and my mind. Memories coming back. My name. I am... I don't know. What's stopping her from remembering her identity, Alex? And how does Luna's song have the power to restore her memory? I think we'll find out the answers when we reach this, the Star Chamber. What's happening? Do we know if she's the one? Have patience, Fisha. Let her continue to sing. Hmm. How many more of these girls will we have to capture until we find the one we need? Luna! Mother! Mia, what is the meaning of this intrusion? How dare you interrupt the sacred ceremony of the Magic Guild? Alex! Oh, Alex, I'm so glad you're alright! These people have been forcing me to sing their evil songs. It, it sounds kind of like you've been singing your song, but, you know. They told me that they'd kill you if I didn't. Are you alright, Luna? If any of these barbarians hurt you. Mother, this is madness. We have to stop, please. I have shown you nothing but leniency and forgiveness for your delinquent behavior, and this is how you repay me, by releasing my prisoner and disrupting a sacred ritual. And Ursula keeps singing! Your punishment will be swift and brutal, my wretched little offspring, and your friend's death still shall be even more merciless. No! Galleon, the time has come. Help us complete the ritual. Well, you're not my mother, you're a fraud. My real mother would never speak to me as you have. Oh, my dear Mia, your every word further seals your fate. Please, mother, go back to being the kind person you once were. Goddess Mirror, shine forth and reveal the truth of all things. Huh. 
<laughs> you dishonored the Alsa dynasty, little one. No! What have you done to the mirror? It should have shown your true form. I refuse to believe that you are really my mother. It's impossible. You simply can't. Mia. My dear. Mia. Do not mourn, my daughter. I'm here for you. Mother! Gentle light shining forth from the goddess mirror has awakened me and freed me from the curse of this witch. Witch? Whatever are you babbling about, you pathetic imposter? Galleon, dispose of these nuisances at once. I think not, imposter. I think you've been revealed as the fraudulent wench you are. What? I can't believe I was completely deceived by your cheap trick. How dare you betray my trust and attempt to overthrow the magic guild? <laughs> then the time for revelation has come to pass sooner rather than later. Well then. Wagana wa Zenobia. Artena ni yotte henkyo ni owareta mazoku no matsueda. Motto mo omae tachi wa sore sura wa sore te iru da roga na. Hora, iro iro nayamu kota atta de sho? Louis no uranai wa atarun da kara. Demo, mo o asobi o oshimai ne. Masaka, anata tachi ga koko made yatte kuru to ane. Mina o shita wa desu. お姉様、ロウィスここはひとまず引くことにしましょう I mean let's try not to go too lewd but、um, I agree that the game is making it kind of difficult at this point Our plan to seize control of the guild almost worked Now you've cut short our glorious plan You'll pay dearly for this insurrection. Savor your feeble victory while you still can. The magic emperors will form a new world order with the vile tribe as its rulers. How dare you! I foresee another round of deception in your future. Our paths will cross again, infidels. Gotta say, Royce is like.、Mm. <laughs> Ultra Goyles. I feel like we just dealt with the Ultra Goyles. But, um. Also, the weird thing of、uh, putting the heroes on the left side, but, you know, it kind of fits with the scene that we just came out of. Um, I don't know how well this will work, but let's、uh, let's do the regular rotation.、Uh, let's open with Thunder Rain.、Uh, what do you got? You're going to endow shield on Luna since she's our healer. And、uh, you're going to Cascade Song on Al. Right, I forgot to use the,、uh, the low contrast filter <laughs> again. I kind of need to have like a list of things just on, off on the side here to remind me of like what is particularly flashy and that I should turn this feature on for. Because it's not as bad when you're looking at it on the screen of a PSP. 
But um, this ain't this ain't a PSP. Sorry for ruining the illusion, but um, uh, let's see. I should be able to riot on everyone, flame circle on everyone, and you don't have any offensive maneuvers. So just do whatever, I guess. Yeah, that didn't hit very hard now, did it? There's only so much you can do when you're not equipped with your weapon, though. All right. No, not sure what I was expecting for Luna since uh, she uh, clearly does not have her weapon equipped either. So I guess the tactic as far as, far as Luna is she probably should just defend this entire time unless she needs to be uh, healing someone. Uh, you, however, can at least use explosive stab one more time. Uh, you got Riot, you got Flame Circle, and um, I'm going to keep you here anyway because I try to bunch the, uh, the enemies together. I'm not a fan of how these guys have like up to three attacks. As long as we can keep them bunched up like this though, we're going to be able to, to pull off some spells on them. Unfortunately, um, Alex is out of those, but... Uh, he does have Zephyr Blade queued up, so I'm going to do that. Um, Nash is starting to run a little low. Mia still has plenty of MP for, for this fight at least. And uh, Luna's going to keep defending, I guess. There we go. Now that's some damage. There we go. And somehow these guys have uh, have money. So yeah, this was a mini boss. This wasn't a full boss. But it's enough for Nash to level up. Allow me to apologize. All this time I've been unknowingly manipulated by the Vile Tribe. I am ashamed for having been so easily deceived. I'm so worried about my mother. Let's return to the Magic Guild. And then I proceeded to the Star Chamber, Zenobia, Lemia, instructing me to do it. How foolish of me not to realize what was transpiring. I still don't understand what the Vile Tribe was trying to achieve by doing all this. What did they have to gain by assuming my mother's identity or by ad abducting Luna? It's quite obvious that we need to know more, although I certainly have my ideas. I feel the Vile Tribe is on the verge of declaring war. Zenobia and the others were placed among us to gather crucial intelligence. Now is the time for definitive action to counter the damage that they have done. I must leave Vane and gather information of my own. Not just to stop the Vile Tribe, but 
Justinian, but for other more pressing reasons as well. The only way I can gather this information is from the four dragons themselves. Since the dragon of, uh, since the location of the white dragon is already known, I shall visit him first. Galleon wants to visit Quark? Perhaps Quark's wisdom holds the clue I need to discern the, what the violent tribe is plotting at us. And I would ask that you guide me to him immediately. You don't mind, don't you, do you Alex? Of course not. Alex would be honored to take you there. This is great, Alex! We get to go home and show off one of the four heroes! <laughs> Me, since your mother has yet to recover from the, the effects of that dreadful mask, I believe you should take her place as the Guildmaster until she is fit to resume her duties. Yes, Galleon, you're right. But I will need Nash to assist me until you return. If that's acceptable to both of you to both you and Nash, of course. Acceptable? That's wonderful! It would be my humble honor to help you in any way possible. Of course, me. I place Nash at your disposal. His work for me has been most satisfactory. I must speak with Master now to arrange my transportation to Homo Isle. So then we shall meet in Meridia shortly. Do not doubt, Alex. After all, you do know what they say about idle hands. I'm sorry, what? Alex, I still haven't thanked you enough for, help for helping me to rescue my mother. And now I have to thank you for taking Galleon to the Cave of the White Dragon. Mia, how could Alex possibly say no to someone as nice and cute as you? <laughs> No, are you sure it's Alex who thinks Mia's cute? Luna, I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, we have to hurry to Mel's mansion. Alright, so off we go. Back to Moravia. Maybe we can, like, pay a visit to, uh, to Ramus while we're there. It was on the way back. Just keep singing, just keep singing. I forgot to tag the statue, didn't I? Well, whatever. It's not like there's battles on the uh, on the world map. In this version of the game, at least. Still kind of find it weird that they took out, like, the entire world map thing, but... Uh, I don't know. It, it does help with the pacing a little bit. Not that this is necessarily a very slow game, but you know. Hey, Remus. I mean, we're heading back there, so you know. We will definitely pass on the, the news, though. I mean, Remus is kind of an asshole, but at least he has a bit of business sense. You are just literally conning people. Bunny girl, huh? Oh, green eyes. I only wish that you were for sale. Oh my. Oh right, we need to re-equip weapons. Uh, Rune Blade, and you had on the Crystal Staff. <laughs> Must resist.
All right, so it seems like uh, like Ramus is uh, is doing a pretty good job. Let's go uh, talk to Hell Mel and uh, get us about back to uh, back to home. And that is everything I know. The situation as it stands at this moment. Visiting the White Dragon to gather more information is quite prudent at this time. Well, you see, I suspect that the Magic Emperor aspi aspires to uh, to the rank of Dragon Master. However, only Quab would know that for certain. The Magic Emperor? That's a frightening thought. The fact that he hijacked Lemia's powers lends weight to, to your argument, though. You guys, what? Huh? Dad, it, uh, looks like we have guests. Oh, Alex, welcome. I heard a story from Galia. How'd you do in vain? Oh, before I forget, this is my daughter, Jessica. Jessica, aren't you going to say hello? Of course. How do you do, Alex? My father's told me so much about you. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, what are you talking about, Jessica? You have a brain cramp or something? And what a fascinating creature you brought with you, Alex. Oh, shut up. What do you think, lad? Is my daughter the most beautiful lass you ever set your eyes on? I mean, of my age. I only hope that she can get over her shyness. <laughs> Mel's not very good at keeping a straight face. I should help him out. So I hear you're, you're traveling in hopes of, of becoming a Dragon Master, Alex. How absolutely wonderful! The next time you're in the area, I'd love to sit down with you and talk. Uh, uh, I'd love to sit down and talk with you about your adventures. What's with the act, Jessica? Just the other day we were in lunch. You're trapped. No. What a cute little kitty. How does he talk? At last, you made it. There's no time to waste. We need a new dragon. I hesitated to become one because of dying, but I can't let my fo my personal feelings prevent me from doing what needs to be done. We have to meet, we have to meet with Quark and determine the locations of the other dragons. Um. So we've talked to everyone now. Do we just go? I guess. Because no, no one, like, specifically said, alright, let's go to the dock and uh, head off to, uh, to Hansel and Gretel Isle, whatever it's called. <laughs> All your candy is gone. Sir, are you okay? Which is, is that the name of a new bar? Hmm. We've part of daybreak. Alright. Okay, so what have I missed here? Oh! Yeah, I just looked over at the guide, and uh, it said you have to talk to Galleon twice. I don't know why you have to talk to him twice, but you know. You know. Yeah, it might not be a bad idea for me to go to the store tomorrow and see, um, see if they have any, uh, any Halloween candy left on sale. If we fail, the Magic Emperor will surely become invincible and destroy this world. This mission is therefore of the utmost importance. I must meet with Quark at once. There we go. The ship to Hom to Hamalal isn't ready yet, but the sails are working as quickly as they can. They said they'll be ready to sail by tomorrow morning. 
Dad, why don't we let Alex and our friends stay here tonight? I'd love to hear their tales of adventure. That's a fine idea, Jessica. But you won't get scared by their story, will you? I'll be fine, Dad. Alright then, Alex, make yourself at home. I mean, that stuff tends to go pretty fast, which is, which is why I'm saying, like, I wonder if they'll still have any. Here's my room, guys. Relax, take a load off. Are you feeling okay? One second you're you, and the next second you're completely different. Yes, I feel fine now. You don't get it, do ya? Oh. Of course I remember you. I just couldn't say anything in front of my dad. Why not, Jessica? My father always tell me of how much I remind of my, of my mom. If he knew that I was really like him, and that I was sneaking out of the shrine to go on my own adventures, he'd freak out and I'd be grounded until I was 50. How do you stand it? I could never keep my true self hidden away. Not from someone who cared for me as, as your father cares for you. Parental expectations in reality. Surprisingly, Jessica has got a lot more on her plate than I thought. It seems a little incomprehensible for us, wouldn't you say, Alex? Those are just talk to people multiple times until something happens. So what happened to you guys in vain? No one's sleeping until I get every unsavory detail. It happened like this. And that's all I have to say about that. So everyone at the shrine was enchanted by the spell? How <laughs> embarrassing. You're lucky you skipped out of school that day. What? I don't know what you're talking about, no. <laughs> Galleon's a great magician, but he can't be expected to do all this by himself. Alex, I think you should talk to Quark too and find out what you can from him. Anyway, for dinner tonight, I'm gonna whip you all up a little special something. Really? Are you a good cook, Jessica? Of course I am. You just leave the cooking to me. Great, I'm starving. I think we're probably still going to be starving. By the way, hydration was achieved. I, as you, yeah, redeemed that 15 minutes ago. I'm sorry. You have to see what a bar is like on Halloween. All right. Well, thanks for dropping by, J-Pop. Better get my stock of antacid. Literally left to get water at the time. Okay, well, to be fair, I um, I had like I still had a bit of water left in my uh, in my glass, which I downed while I was going over there, and I have also you know had a couple of more drinks since then. I like how they put Null right there. Just so you can't actually leave this map. Okay, I guess we're being subjected to Jessica's cooking. Which seems like it's going to be a bad idea. It may not seem like it, but I've been, I've been feeling pretty good about my cooking skills as of late. Who knew the basics of cooking would be so stressful and relaxing at the same time? It's utterly mind-bending. It's time to make something with a taste that will blow your minds. Clang, clang, crackle, bang. Alright, now I'm on a roll! Oh, you couldn't be more wrong, you boneheaded womanizing drunkard. You didn't know the more you tenderized the meat, the better it tastes, did you? The purple to black ratio. Hmm, what else does this need? Well, whatever. Cooking is all about the love you put into it anyway. That's obviously why, pe why people say, don't think, feel the emotion. 
Uh oh, this is a little too well done. No worries though, it's all going to the same place. Maybe I can cover up the taste with a smidgen of sugar? Nah, it's all about the subtle flavors anyway. Alright, what's this? And this? A moderate amount? A tad? How much is that supposed to be a stupid book? Um, Alex, Jessica's really making food, right? Uh, yeah, I hope so. I, uh, just started having a real bad feeling about this. Don't worry, no. It's not like anything is going to explode. Right, guys? Take that! Yeah! hey yeah. You were saying, Luna? <laughs> I'm really sorry about this, everyone. Don't sweat it. The dinner the head cook made for us after after that was the best I've ever had. My belly's content. Aww. There's no need to be down on yourself, Jessica. You can always try again, right? <sighs> Pathetic, aren't I? My father always told me about how perfect of a woman my mother was. Despite the fact that I'm her daughter. <sighs> Why do, keep, why do things always end up like this? I'm sure if my father knew about my rough side, he'd be disappointed. I don't think I can. I could handle it if he... Alright, see you later, J-Pop. Jessica. <sighs> I'm sorry to be rambling on like that. Everyone just forget what I said, okay? You've got a long boat ride ahead of you to, hum to Hanwell Isle tomorrow. Why don't you all get some rest? You're more than welcome to use this room. Not everyone. I knew we'd be returning home, Alex, but not with Galleon as our escort. I guess our adventure is coming to an end. Man, am I pooped. Good night, now, And good, good night, Alex. There's that dream again. Alex just conked out on the floor. And of course, Null curled up like a cat. But he's not a cat. He, does, he doesn't even look like a cat. Cats look like him. Good morning. Good morning, Luna! Huh? You're looking a little pale. Is everything all right? I had that dream again. That's all it is, Luna. Just a dream. I know, but you're you're right, Alex. Let's just bid farewell to Master Mel. Hey, Alex. Did you sleep well? I sure did. Gullion's probably waiting for you at the harbor. Better not keep him. Please take care of yourselves and come back soon. I'll pray to the goddess to keep you all safe. Since I study at the shrine, my prayers get first priority. <laughs> Someone give this girl an Oscar. Wait, who's Oscar? All right. Off the boat land we go. I like boats. Boats, boats, boats. Sir. Hello, sir. Uh, we 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 got a we got a situation. This this man needs help. Please call an ambulance or something. I can't. I don't live here, and I'm going back home. Good morning. I trust you slept well. Are you ready to sail? Let's do it. Let us depart post post haste. I'm counting on you, Alex of Berg.
So tell me, what drives you to become the Dragon Master? What leads you to an attempt that so many others before you have tried and failed to achieve? Well... I want to protect the people of our world, the people I care about. Oh, very well. The Dragon Master's power is meant for much more than mere protection. And the magnitude of his responsibility to wield that power, well, is immeasurable. May I ask another question of you? Uh, of course, Master Galleon. If you had to choose between the survival of the one who cared about the most, or the lives of everyone in our world, which would it be? One or many? Love or duty? How... how could anyone make that choice? A Dragon Master is forced to make such choices every day of his existence. But we're getting considerably ahead of ourselves, aren't we? Not a Dragon Master yet, not even close. Think about my question during your, your travels, boy. The closer you are to becoming a Dragon Master, the more important it is to answer. By the way, so renowned is your singing voice that word of your abilities has spread all the way to Vane. When we reach Berg, I would desire nothing more than to listen to you sing. I don't think my voice is that special, but I'd be honored to sing for you, Master Galleon. It, you heard her sing. Unless, like, Technically, the song that she was singing uh, in the Crystal Shrine was uh, not the song that she would normally have sung, even though they only have the one voice clip of her singing. Anyway, I look forward to it. And there is no need to be modest about your talent. You have a gift, you should share it with the world. Look, Alex, over there! On the edge of the horizon, it's safe. Ah, it's so good to be back home. Well, what a quaint little owl this is. You look tired, boy, but as they say, he will never sleeps. Take me to the cave of the white dragon. I'm quite anxious to catch up with my dear boy. Alrighty. Hey, Cappy. Alright, I'll wait for you to, to take care of your business while you deal with the white dragon. I don't know why you talk like a pirate, but, you know. You do you, I guess. Let's offer a quick prayer. Oh, right. I forgot that this, uh, this town is two screens large. Ah, I guess we have to go to the woods first. And this is, uh, this is gonna be a bit of a raffle stomp, honestly. I'm generally gonna try to avoid battles because like there's not really any point. Also not going to run away. And sure enough, Galleon actually joins us with his level 99 stats. Victory Breeze. <laughs> 
636 damage, jeez. These are still worth like a hundred silver. It's not really that much at this point, but it's at least something for uh, for our troubles. I wonder if there's a special scene if we if we go to the little spot that uh, Luna likes to sing. Now, uh, Remus is uh, yeah, something happened, all right. He is actually doing pretty well for himself. Also, this is the dude. Uh, this is the dude that you have to give thirty silver to. Uh, he doesn't do anything right now, but he will at some point. Uh, I I thought there might have been like a cutscene here where like she she sings for Galleon or something, but I guess not. In fact, I, I remember there being like... Oh wait, no, that's later in the game. Okay. Uh, was this Ramus' house? I think this is Ramus' house. If it's not that Laurel one, it's this one. Yeah, there we go. Nope. He, yep, he started a business in Moravia. Jeez. I'm pretty sure he's not. He's minding his own business in Moravia. <laughs> Uh, let's go... Let's go visit home as well. Just for the hell of it. I like how you're the first person to notice Galleon. I do also appreciate that Galleon actually has some dialogue here. Um... I wonder if I can do this now. I'd be surprised if... Uh... Interesting, though, that it said specifically there is nothing we can use inside here. So there is something interactable there. Hey Alex, do you want to stop by the springs? Me? Uh, sure. Don't mind me. I'm sure this is your first time home in quite some time, so please do as you like. Thank you for your consideration, Master Galleon. Before we do that, let's go visit the, the Dragon Master statue. And I guess I was right about that cutscene. It's just I had to trigger it by going home first. To purpose is this pathetic mind that's sent to serve. It will attempt to keep Dine's memory alive. 
Our world must stop dwelling on the relics of the past and look toward the future. A future ruled by one stronger than, feeble, than a feeble dragon master. One who can unite the world with pure strength of will alone. Interesting thing that you had to say there, Galleon. So yeah, I do believe that this uh, this whole cutscene is optional. You can just skip it if you're really. Uh... Actually, no. It, it's in it's in the guide here. I didn't notice that it was. The springs are where Alex and I always used to practice our songs to offer to the goddess Alfina. It feels like just yesterday we were here. And yet, it feels like so much time has passed between us. This song, would it be? All makes sense now. The song of Athena. ただ、歌じゃない。そうだ。わしらとの旅の間、いつもアルテナは歌っていた。Master Galleon? I'm sorry to have kept everyone waiting. Let's get going to the White Dragon Cave, shall we? Yes, it would be in our best interest to do so. Empty sun and bow. No, I am not the same, Aethel. So that was an interesting series of events that happened. But it is time for us to go speak to Quark. Let's get our ticket to Deep Space Nine. No, not that Quark. Julio. What the hell are you talking about? And let's go ahead and uh, tactic on this. And this uh, this fight is pretty much going to be a cakewalk. Casually raffle stomping through uh, 
through the world here. Enemy is doing you one point of damage. to actually check something real quick. Um, just making sure that, let's see, all right. Um, all right, let's go speak. To work. You have returned, Alex, and you are even stronger than I than when I last beheld you. Do my eyes deceive me, Galleon? How many years has have passed since we have last set eyes on one another? Fifteen, to be precise. Not since Dragon Master died, sacrificed his. Yes, the tragic memory fail uh, fails to fade even at this age. Quark, I have but one question to ask of you. This girl, the one they call Mina, is she the one? The one to whom? Dragon Master died and trusted. For you to know the truth of things, what assurance would it offer you? It is during unsettled times such as these, when knowledge of the truth is of the utmost importance. Though at present I cannot make all things known, believe in my words. Gallion, as Dragon Master Dine's most trusted friend. I cannot help but believe that there lies truth within your words as well. Yes, yes, I am sure she is the one. Is there something wrong, Gallion? <laughs> Face heel turn, ever anyone? Who didn't see this coming? Bella, soon you talking a kita to you, Kotoda. Sega in you, Tatabi, come you are tired of talking on. Oh, hello. Oh boy!
新たな目覚めのためにお前の力使わせてもらおうファイディをそしてあとは Your power will be the key to the eternal. Pork, your power will be the key and the reawakening of that which I, which I seek. But first. Luna! Once everything sits squarely in the palm of my hand, the world shall finally be mine! Happened. Where, where am I? This is Alex's house, but I thought we were in the cave. No? Alex, what happened to us? The last thing I remember is going into the White Dragon Cave with Galleon. Galleon. Wait, I remember now! I know what happened! Luna! Alex, she was kidnapped! Alex, no! You're finally awake! Galleon took Luna and. I know it all. You were brought here by an old friend, a man named Laika. He found you in the White Dragon Cave and brought you here. I believe he's at Dine's monument. You should go and thank him for saving your lives. He probably would have frozen to death had he not discovered you. But yes, unfortunately, Luna is no longer in the party. And thus it shall remain for the rest of the game, which is why I took that little break and um, got her equipment off. Let's just see. There's probably not any anything that uh, Alex can use, but uh, I will give the flame ring to Alex, I think. And now is the time that I should be able to go here and discover Luna's bromide too. You might be asking where's Luna's Bromide 1? Don't worry about it. But it is from this point forward that we can start finding these things. So uh, let's go ahead and equip that on Alex. Oh. Alex, you and Luna have grown up together. Your mother and I have watched a bond form between you. And we have watched that bond turn from friendship into love. I don't know how, if you've told her now, if you've told her how you feel, Alex. Perhaps she already knows. But you must tell her now. Save her from Galleon. Let's 
Sounds good. Uh, Micah. <laughs> good. You two are awake. I was afraid your sleep might be of the eternal type. Thank you for helping us, Laika. We are your lives. But what the heck were you doing in the White Dragon Cave? <laughs> I thought you might ask me that now, but mum's the word. I hate secrets. Alex, I'm sorry for what happened to Luna, but what are you going to do about it? What am I going to do? For starters, I'm going to bite Galleon right in the... I meant you, Alex. What do you plan to do now? I... I'm going to... Think, and then act decisively, Alex. Well, this is, um... This is one of those, um, one or many selections. Because the fact that the Magic Emperor is, um has shown himself at this point means that the entire world of Lunar is in danger. But uh, there is also the matter of Luna. The one, screw the many. Zero has spoken, apparently. Also, I didn't know you were here. Hey Zero, how you doing? I'm gonna bring Luna back home safely. I swear it. You do realize that you're talking about going up against Galleon, one of the legendary four heroes. I've even heard that he rules supreme as the Magic Emperor, closely allied with the Vile Tribe on the frontier. If this has any truth to it, then his power must be immense. Yet even knowing this, are you still determined to risk your own life to fight for what you believe in? Until my dying breath. Alex, I have not witnessed such courage and unshakable faith as yours in a very long time. Dragon Master Dime would be prou proud of your bravery, Alex. You would marvel at the strength that you have nurtured in your heart. Alex, do you know why Dine, uh, Dine died 15 years ago? No, no I don't. With many others, Dine's heart was touched by the power of love. His vow was too warm who in her perfect love continuously had her heart turned toward the, chi toward the children of men. And when the time arose, he sacrificed it all, entrusting his hope to the future. And the dying who, whom everyone knew as the greatest dragon master ever, perished. <laughs> then again, helping the girl you love has never been an easy task. But since you're the since you're the one who said you would, there's nothing left except to put your shoulder to the wheel. I will. Now that's the right answer. I'll be cheering you. Uh, I'll be cheering. F ah, I'll be cheering from you. From you. I'll be cheering for you from the sidelines, Alex. Eh? Is that all we get? Just a simple go team go. <laughs> you sure know how to make a, a, a man feel like a miser. Oh, right. I almost forgot. I found this lying about in the cave where the white dragon was. I imagine it'll be useful for something. Catch. He got the dragon wings. Till we meet again, Alex. What a strange man, Alex. I'm glad he's helping us, but why is he doing it at all? I'm glad you're going to fight Galleon, because I'd hate to have to rescue Luna on my own. <laughs> I'd hate to, re to have to rescue the both of you. Okay, Alex. First, we need to find out where Luna took Gal... Uh, where... <laughs> Luna took Galleon. We need to find out where Galleon took Luna. Do you think the White Dragon Wings Laika gave us are some sort of clue? Hmm. Let's give him a shot, Alex. Luna <laughs> doing the kidnapping. It, it's sort of like, um, it's sort of like uh, Vix at the end of Super Mario World. <laughs> Defeated the princess and saved Bowser. Except that she says that on purpose. Um... I 
actually, I know it's a bit early and also the fact that you just got here, Zero, but my plan was actually just to end the stream here because um, that's kind of a very strong story beat to, to leave off on. You're a Johnny tonight, exactly. So yeah, that's um, that's some pretty intense crap that uh, that just happened. We've lost Luna. The Magic Emperor has awakened, and now we're stuck with this mess. We're pretty much just Alex and Nal at this point. So hopefully we can rely on our old friends to uh, to come help us and um, rescue Luna and stop the the. Um, the Magic Emperor. So, that's gonna about do it. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you to uh, SimGuy, uh, JPop, and UZero for hanging out. The next scheduled stream is gonna be on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic uh, Daylight Time. Actually, no. Atlantic Standard Time, because we are going, uh, we are falling back by the time that we'll have our next stream. Uh, so that's going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Standard Time. Um, Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some more Arc Belgo shenanigans. And uh, that takes us around the week, around the wheel, to our next long run stream next Tuesday at uh, 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. We're going to continue our adventures and. Um, start on our journey to both become the Dragon Master and um, also save Luna. Also to note, uh, two things. That's going to be the last stream, excuse me, the last stream before Desert Bus for Hope, which is a uh, week-long charity event benefiting um, Child's Play charity. You can go to desertbus.org for more information. Uh, and also, I might have an extra stream uh, sometime in the next couple of days, maybe if I'm feeling like it. Because I know, Zero, you're not streaming for sure. J-Pop may not be streaming. Well, I, I have no idea. He just kind of left it uh, up in the air whether he is or not. But uh, if I am, it's probably just going to be messing around in Final Fantasy XIV, just doing some, like... Maybe some dungeons, some crafting. Mike's going to be off if I do that. Just just kind of a chill kind of time for the most part. Um, so yeah, if uh, if you can, you can follow me on co-host at CoolUMZX. You can also uh, support me on Libera Pay for recurring payments or stream elements uh, for a one-time donation. And the links are in chat. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.